Link loves this barbershop. Yeah, clearly. And by that, I do not mean the place where I get my hair. <laughs> or that awesome movie. Oh, yeah. <laughs> or the sequel. With Cedric the Entertainer. Or Beauty Shop. Or, be, yeah, the, the girl version of yeah. it. Uh, Ladies like to get their hair done, too. <laughs> Ethnic hair products. <laughs> 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 the least the least used aisle in Walmart. Uh, ethnic, ethnic hair care. Hair products. <laughs> <laughs> I used to work in a grocery store, man. I know where that shit's at. The guy that was in Die Hard... <laughs> Gary Oldman. <laughs> I was like, uh, no, but that was that was uh, Alan Rickman. It was Bruce Willis. Is who I was thinking of. But thanks for playing, uh, Alan Rickman. <laughs> <laughs> you sort of broke the rules to your own game. I can do a pretty good Alan Rickman impression. Hello, this is Alan Rickman. <laughs> Hello. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> then, then it just becomes. Then it just becomes Medea. Hello. Hello. Oh, shut up. <laughs> Hello, um, this is Alan Rickman. Do you want to do you want to like do that? <laughs> so, all right, are we are we ready? Uh, are we ready? As ready as I'm gonna be. Yeah, I guess. Now I've got the giggles. The jiggles. <laughs> <laughs> Just get it out, man. <laughs> <laughs> Just go. It'll be funny. Give me the bad too. <laughs> Hi and Thomas. welcome. To <laughs> <laughs> you pieces of shit. <laughs> You guys all got the jiggles today. <laughs> okay, okay. Okay, go. Hi, Hey, welcome. Thomas. <laughs> I'm sorry. Fucking stop. Last one. That was it. <laughs> that was it. That's Alan Rickman. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> I'm Alan Rickman. <laughs> Potions. Uh, can, can you say <laughs> ethnic hair products like Alan Rickman? <laughs> 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 None of them choking to death. <laughs> Ethnic, <coughs> ethnic hair products. <laughs> John Travolta, what are you doing here? I swear to God, <laughs> <laughs> who uses these hair care products? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Alan Rickman. <laughs> there aren't any black people in England. <laughs> what are you talking about? Of course there are. Yeah, uh, Mickey Smith from the first uh, Doctor Who season. Oh, I knew there were black people in England. Hi, and welcome to Probably Comics. I'm Thomas. I'm Tyler. I'm Link. And this is our weekly segment, What's in the Box? Hey, what is inside of the box? And it's where we talk about the comic books that we bought this week. Yeah. Um, so we just got them in a big stack. We're going to go through them one by one. Bing, bing. All right. Still crying. <laughs> okay. Oh, uh, so we're going to start this week with um, Mark Wade's Daredevil, number mm. eight. Little Spidey cross. Starting out with a whimper. Yeah. yeah. It, uh, well, it um the Spider-Man issue that led up to it, I thought was really fun, and this one seemed more about trying to get Daredevil to fuck Black. It Cat. was just it just mm. seemed rushed. Like they seemed like they were like, oh, well, let's go ahead and explain what happened. And Everything led up to Daredevil boning Black Cat. Yeah. That is what the Did entire y- well, no, because no. Foggy called him and yeah. blew it. Of course, you foggy. blew it, Foggy. John Favreau blows everything. My favorite, my favorite panel of Daredevil um, <coughs> was Spider-Man hanging up against a wall, and he was like, "I think this is my supervillain origin story." Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Spider-Man once again is uh, hilarious. Saves, saves the day. Saves a ba- saves a potentially bad book from being terrible. Which I I will say this is um this is what the second issue that of Daredevil that Mark Waid's put out that I've been like meh about. Out of eight, which is uh, a pretty good ratio, mm-hmm. if you ask me. Like, it, it's not, it's not a. I'm gonna stop reading this book fad. It no. was just compared to the caliber that I'm used to dealing with in Daredevil. Not just seem. It, it just didn't, it didn't meet the bar. It, it didn't seemed meet the forced. Bar. It seemed like Marvel was like, let's get Spider Man in on this, and he's like, I really want to do that. Yeah. Nobody likes to team up with Spider Man, especially not the guy who has to for everything to be quiet. <laughs> yeah. So, um, I think I'm the only person that read Blue Beetle this week. Damn right you are. Uh, Blue Beetle number five. I don't know if I'm going to keep reading it. Um, just Why not? Uh, <laughs> I've, I've, I got to get rid of something. 
and it may as well be fucking well, blue. Well, you should have kept reading Static Shock because it was going to be over at issue eight anyway. Well, whatever. It really was. It really was not good. At well, all. it got canceled. Yeah, but um, the thing about this, this was a, it was actually kind of a cool book. Like I enjoyed it. I just think I'm going to have to put it to the wayside. But uh, he killed his best friend accidentally because basically, so this kid's got this scarab suit on and it's got a mind of its own. It's Blue Beetle. Yeah, and uh, so. He tra- he like revealed his identity to his friend, and the mm-hmm. suit's like, uh, you can't do that. And he stabs the, the suit, so the suit, kill- suit kills his friend. And in this issue, he makes the suit heal his friend, and that's going to end up being, his friend's going to end up being another beetle, like a bad beetle to fight. That, that sounds awful. Yeah. <laughs> but, well, the only, the, well, one thing that was actually really good was that they have, the Reach is going to attack the home planet of the Blue Lanterns. Like, that's something. And so that's something we'll see in Green Lantern, New Guardians. Mm-hmm. So that's going to be a cool thing. Yeah, I was. that's what I was talking uh, li- When we talked about New Guardians last time, I was like, I think Blue Beetle's about to cross over with it. Yeah. All right. Uh, I think Tyler read Thunderbolts. Yep. You I think? can't believe you're not reading the link. I don't really care about any of these people. Well, they're like the they're like the um, villain New Avengers. It, yeah, it's like villains for hire, except for the part where it doesn't suck. <laughs> <laughs> it's really good. I mean, it's still like they still can't figure out why their ship keeps traveling through time. Um, so they keep like every two issues or so they go to a different time period. And this one, they're in King Arthur's court, which is pretty awesome because um, Merlin is there, and he's like a and then, like in magic is real. So it's like Merlin and he's facing off against Satana, and they're trying to like oh. trick out trick each other out of stuff and. Uh, Thunderbolts get captured and taken down into the dungeon of Camelot, which houses all of the mythical creatures that Merlin needs for his like special ingredients. Like Grendel is down there and stuff like that. It's pretty good. Hmm. I'm I'm really I'm really enjoying. It. I still don't like if you ask me who the characters were, I could still only name like three. But there, but it's it's I really I'm really enjoying it. Um, I think Thomas was our only New Mutants number thirty six regenesis. Yep, that's evil me. rock band. Yeah, basically. Um, so. They they kind of uh, they they finally figured out what the deal is with the evil rock band. And apparently, they're not evil. Like they're being mind controlled uh, by uh, some. Don't you hate it when that happens? Some type of alien. Did Rogue show up and want to give up her powers to screw everybody else too? <laughs> no. Um. So uh, basically, Cipher, who he's like he can speak with any technological mm-hmm. form basically mm-hmm. um, I like him yeah Cypher's awesome he he grabs the box and basically like sees what's going on he's like the only he's like the closest word I can use to describe what the thing is is it's a ship and something happened to the ship and there's a piece of it in this box and the box need it uses chaos energy as uh, fuel so it's using this rock band to create a lot like basically that's where all these storms and stuff are coming from and natural disasters and stuff that Blink's been going around saving people from but uh, I want to see what happens after this arc because this one was mm, okay, but it was part of the whole Regenesis branding, and that it had a lot to do just I kind of with kind of with that. Mm-hmm. That was sort of the undertone of the whole thing was Regenesis. So I'm interested to see where the comic goes as like an ongoing series and not just part of this uh, sort of event. Word. All right, uh, mm-hmm. Shattered Heroes, Avengers number twenty one. Uh, I think surprisingly, we all read. Yeah, this. all yeah. of us finally read an yeah. Avengers book. <laughs> I would, I would, I read this over. I may uh, drop New Mutants and read this instead. You, you mean New Avengers? I might drop uh, New Avengers. Oh, okay. And read this instead. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm not reading. No, this New was Mutants. this was great. It was um, really good. I, I mean, like Storm. I came in an issue late, mm-hmm. I guess, because all the like Storm and Red Hulk were already down. Yeah, and and yeah. In the last issue, basically, the the Avengers went to go after Norman Osborn. Right. Like, and so they looked in all the usual places. And he wasn't there, but he was waiting for them. Mm. In ever so they split up, and uh, he was he had operatives waiting for him at every turn. Mm-hmm. Seems like a lot of uh, like hiring out other groups to like no, Hydra yeah. or AIM. Well, he's got a lot of money. Like Actually, uh, good point, Thomas. Super crime, basically. Hammer is now Hammer, Hydra, AIM, and the Hand. Oh those wow! All fall the under hand are involved. Yeah, mm-hmm. those all fall under him. That's where Gorgon comes from, mm-hmm. isn't that right? And uh, they all fall under Osborn now. Mm-hmm. They're all mm-hmm. with him. So he is. Because there's some stuff with, like, go, with the hand going on in Wolverine too. Uh, yeah. Because is is it Kingpin? Does Kingpin run the hand now? He or, did. I didn't know that. 
Yeah, Kingpin's in charge of that. He's he's the American leader of the hand. Oh, cool. Punisher killed him, I think, recently. Or Punisher. Kingpin? Yeah. Kingpin was in not 300, but the issue before that in Wolverine. Oh. Well, Punisher killed him recently. Maybe that was Punisher Max. Maybe that was Punisher Max. Yeah. Because I don't think you could get away with killing off Wilson Fisk. He's way too important. I mean, just bring in um, John. Oh, fuck. Michael Clark Duncan. (laughs) (laughs) He was great. <laughs> that whole movie was really good. <laughs> <laughs> I, can't, I can't even say it. I can't even say it was Jason. That whole movie was so good. Ben Affleck, he's so good. That was Ben Affleck, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. I came out on Valentine's Day. I took a date. And Did I you go see Daredevil? Nice. Mm-hmm. I was like, I'm so sorry. I think I'm the only person that read uh, Fear Itself the Fearless. <laughs> Goddamn right you are. Yeah, you are. Um, Is that number eight? Yeah. Of what? Twelve. Oh, no, sorry. Seven of twelve. Oh, you God. got five more. Yeah. Um... Crossbones versus Wolverine is really cool, um, but other than that, you know, it's just it's moving along. Who's writing this? Uh, this is Bun. It's everybody. Bun, Fraction, Yost, Bagley, Pelletier. Oh God, Matt but Fraction. Crossbones v Wolverine is neat, and Wolverine kicks ass. Of course he does. Yeah. He's Wolverine. He's the best. He's he's the best. He's there the is best. what he does. Um, Generation Hope Regenesis mm. number fifteen. She went all Phoenix, gentlemen. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, she uh. She bucked up, man. Yeah. <laughs> she was like, uh, um, basically, the, the thing is that she brought back a mind-wiped Sebastian Shaw. Which is a big deal to everyone else on the island except for Hope, because she has no fucking clue who he well, is. Well, all of her team. Yeah, all the kids. Um, but apparently Emma Frost wiped his mind and left him in the Middle East, mm-hmm. and they found him and brought him back. Phantom X actually kicked him out of a plane. Yeah. <laughs> And what happened. Animex is such a bad guy. <laughs> oh God, I can't wait to talk about that later. Um, and Jen Ho, and he's like, and she's like, well, it's not fair for you to, it's not fair for you to, um, you know, be angry at him for the stuff that he's done when his mind is completely wiped. And uh, the big thing that happened in the book was that she turned around real angry at Cyclops and went Phoenix yeah. for a second. Oh, well, shit. and made. Um What's his name? The 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 guy who's like this like a he's like a skin sculptor. Yeah. Uh, basically makes him absorb everyone, like all yeah. of her team and all of the people they're fighting. He just like he she makes him get really big. He's like, what the fuck's going on? And just like holds everyone. She's like, all of you, stop what you're doing right now. <laughs> Uncanny X Men number five. <laughs> I would like to formally welcome Karen Gillan back to the land of the living. Yeah, no kidding. I was about to say, finally, Uncanny yeah. X-Men has a real arc that I'm actually enjoying. Well, it's because it's based off Rick of Remender's Rick arc. Remender. It's right. Just I also like that uh, Psylocke kept it a secret as to what, oh, man. why mm-hmm. it happened. Like she, Of course, she knows everything. but Psylocke is the new Wolverine. and She's got a lot going on. Which yeah. also She does make that joke. <laughs> yeah. That... Magneto is still the coolest motherfucker. Oh, yeah. He's like, I, kn- I know what's going on. Cool as a cucumber. And he's just like, uh, I'm going to blow talk? the lid on this yeah. if you don't do this thing that I said that I can't remember. Yeah. But, man, what a, like, just really good. I, I love the, like, uh, all right, uh, who's going to go with my sister and I? Yes. Yeah. Colossus. It's like, oh, well. Okay. And then Hope's like, I want to go with Namor. I want to bone him real bad. Uh, yeah. That ass. <laughs> <laughs> Namor is hilarious. hilarious. He's, got, he's got all the ladies on speed dial. Dude. No, they all got him on speed <laughs> dial. And he's like, what the fuck kind of phone number is this? He's everybody's number two. <laughs> At- Atlantis is not a 256. <laughs> he's, every, he's, every, he's everybody's backup plan. Like, Rogue was like, well, yeah, Magneto's cool now, but Namor is really what I'm going for. Yeah. Hope, Emma Frost. All the sexy ex ladies love Namor. Um, all right, uh, DC Comics Wonder Woman number five. Uh, I'm over man, it. yeah, I, I probably will stop reading it. Yeah, I dug it. I, I had I had fun. I, I liked had Poseidon. Fun. I didn't have any no, fun. Yeah. No, I thought honestly, Poseidon Frog looked like Puss. I thought Poseidon looked like a villain from like Luigi's Mansion. <laughs> At this point, I think I'm just gonna stop reading it because it was it was okay before, and it's quickly gotten not good. Yeah, I agree. I'm I'm o- I'm over Wonder Woman. Like I'm I'm I enjoyed the first couple of of issues because it was being written really well. But I just don't, I don't care anymore. Like they they figured they figured out what the deal was with the first issue, and now I'm done. I don't care. I uh, I want to know when they're gonna give us like a a plot arc in Wonder Woman. Yeah, yeah. 
When is it going to go somewhere? Well, it's just well, up until now, it's just been gods fighting each other, and, and that's, that's, that's well, really, it's just yeah. Been Wonder gods Woman talking, yeah, yeah. Wonder Woman hasn't done it. fucking anything. Yeah, that's boring. Next, other than get kicked out of Paradise Island. Yeah. Let's see, Deadpool Max Two, number four. Um, I'm just reading. I'm just looking at the uh, cover. That's fucking hilarious. <laughs> yeah. It's okay. So Deadpool here's Deadpool. Here's the premise. Spider-Man quote. Remember the uh, the church in Deadpool Max to number one. Yes. Um, so those guys have decided the one with the preacher that's being controlled by the monkey. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Monkey. Well, he's, he's not really being controlled by a monkey. Deadpool just decides he wants to get the monkey. <laughs> That's, really? Yeah. Deadpool's <laughs> just like, no, man, I gotta get the monkey. <laughs> yeah, that's, I guess that's true. Okay. But um, so they uh, raise five hundred thousand dollars to hire an assassin who was uh, trained in an insane asylum by Deadpool's uh, sane again, insane again girlfriend. Uh, what does that mean? Sane again, insane again? Yeah, that's the way she's described. I think she's gonna be in the next issue. Um, but so she trains this guy who calls himself Agent X. Uh, to be an assassin, and he gets hired out by this church to track down Hydra Bob for destroying their uh, place of worship. <laughs> and so um, Deadpool, they're in a hotel room. They're trying to get Hydra Bob fat so that he won't be recognizable. Mm-hmm. So he's Deadpool's just, like, force-feeding him junk food. Oh, my God. <laughs> and so he's, like, sad and mopey and, like, sitting on the hotel room bed, and then he gets up to go to, like, take a shower or something. Deadpool's watching TV, and it's a live feed of... Agent X, as he's about to kill Hydra Bob, he's tracked him to the hotel room. And of course, Deadpool just thinks it's great TV. <laughs> and so he's sitting there watching it. And um, and then but they're not at five hundred thousand dollars yet. And so the guy, Agent, Agent X won't do it. Yeah, not he's I get my money. Get a half a million dollars. Yeah. He's like, you got to you got to pay me. If you don't pay me, I'm not going to do it. Please and tell so me that Deadpool, Deadpool calls in. Deadpool calls in to pledge the last twenty thousand dollars. <laughs> Love it. And then realizes that they don't have any money and the only way they can get it is if they can be tracked. And so he's like, well, we got to find a way to pay $20,000. But then they go ahead and say it on the TV that they got it. And then out of nowhere, bullets just start flying in (laughs) through the window. (laughs) (laughs) It's really, really funny. I had a great time with it. It It's super goofy. (laughs) Okay. All right. uh, Batman number five. I think we all. Oh, man. Uh, we all read it. We all read it. We, Tyler, we don't Thomas all feel I, the same about it. Thomas and I think it was awesome. It was the pick of the week. Yeah. No. Uh, I loved having to, to turn the book. I yes. thought I thought that it was a really creative way. What a chore that would have been to read on an airplane. <laughs> <laughs> but I, li- I liked the, the feeling of being in the maze with the Batman. Yeah. I also liked the way his mask looked with the cracked lens, where he had the one crazy eye, yeah. and he's like losing his shit. I thought that was awesome. Yeah, it w- I mean, it was... It was all right. It was just like every. It was just like, where's the dark at? Oh, here it is. Whoop, light. And well, then and it was just like, okay, I don't don't go crazy now. Stop going crazy. Whoop, going crazy. Don't don't go crazy. Like it was just the same dialogue for like five pages. I thought it was really well written, and I thought it was great. My only qualm is Bruce isn't going to drink. Like why 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 would he have? Drink out of the crazy fountain in the. He's first been in place. there for like two or three days, dude. He's Batman. He's got water he's on a, him somewhere. He's a person. Where does Batman keep water on him? He's Batman. Got, he's Batman, got the bat thermos. Where does Batman keep? No, Link. Um, Link. Hold on. Hold on. Like, so Batman only has a contingency plan for things that he knows how to make a contingency plan for. Yeah. This is not something he was ready for or anything yeah. he expected. It'd be one thing if it were like he's gonna fight Bane again. Batman's got a contingency yeah. plan. That's the whole thing. Is like the the. Co- the, Council the of Owls are turning, or Court of Owls are turning Gotham against him. Like it's he, his whole thing is that he knows Gotham. Gotham is his city, but there's this part of Gotham that he doesn't know anything about, which is what got exploded and uh, why he's in that yeah, maze. Yeah, and that's that's why he, it's driving him crazy. Yeah, because he can't he can't handle the taken. fact that he doesn't understand part of the city because that's his whole psyche. And it's really like it's it's good, and I understand. Like it just seems like it's form over function to me. Like it was like, oh look, the book rotates, and I was like, that's cool, but why? Like it's, it, I mean, I get that you're in a maze, but who gives a shit? Me. Like, it just yeah, d- like I, it was just do. something that, that was like, hey, isn't that neat? And then I was like, it, yeah, it was kind of neat. I, I just don't there, get the claim. I just don't think there was enough quantum theory for you. Uh, probably, <laughs> but there's the thing. There's not. It doesn't add anything to the story that you're turning it that way. Like if it was I, like, I disagree. If I you it read did. it, yeah. if you read it. Like if there was a way for him to write it, there you read it frontwards the 
correct way and then turn it over and it's something different, that would be that would be cool. I thought it added to the experience of reading yeah. the book. Why? Well, and especially when you do all it, it did was make you have pages. to hold it weird. Like it well, didn't. Like the page was still oriented. You make the way it sound that like it was this really big, like horrible thing to do. No, it, it, it was. No, I'm not. What I'm just saying, it's you just like had, a, you just, a, a few pieces. You just of had paper. to hold it differently than you normally would. The pages were still oriented oh, boo, the same boo. way. I liked it. <laughs> well, I'm not. I'm not complaining about. it. I just don't understand yes, why that was so cool. I'm absolutely. You're totally complaining about it. I'm absolutely not. I'm just explaining to you why I don't understand. I don't understand why you think that's so cool. You're, you're just holding it slightly different. Well, that's fine. I think it's cool. Link thinks it's cool. You don't have to think it's cool. Well, just, no okay. one said you had to think it was cool. Well, I don't. I don't think I'm it's not cool. holding a gun to your head. I think Scott Snyder is writing a great Batman, and I enjoyed the book, but I would have enjoyed it just as much had I not had to turn it around. I like turning it. And then had to turn it all the way around to watch Robin start crying. <laughs> Uncanny X-Force. <laughs> <Excellent. laughs> Uh, all right, uh, moving on. Let's um, talk about um, Uncanny X Force number twenty, um, the best book of the week. No, I'm just kidding. I don't. I don't think it was the best book of the week, but it was certainly oh bad to the bone. It was um, really good. It makes me want to learn everything about Captain Britain and his core. And like the other world. All I want to do now. I don't even want to read anything else until I'm a scholar of the other world. <laughs> Like I, I'm so in. I'm so into that like continuity. Yeah. I can't. Oh my god. Have you read? Captain America Corp. Core? No. Is that the same deal? Uh, yeah, it's like there's a bunch of Captain America. Yeah, but are they like defending the Omniverse? No, no, no. It's no. like Deadpool Core. Yeah. So, no, that's not the same. They're just from alternate timelines. Yeah. No. Lady Deadpool. Headpool. Yeah. Headpool. <laughs> I like Headpool. Headpool. Um, Dog. Dogpool. Yeah, like, de- like Captain Britain... I really like. I really want to learn everything I can about that because it's my that's my bread and butter as far as like yeah. science fiction is concerned. I love alternate reality stuff. I, I think for me this book, I uh, confused me a little bit, but I will say this: it made me hungry for the next one because of a which is in two everything reasons. that's everything that's going on with Kurt, like him just being <laughs> at like. A completely different character. Yeah, and him and like ripping yeah. people's really, heads off, yeah. bamfing their All heads the off. Ah. That was awesome. Yeah, so good. And also, it's the kind of thing that makes you go, "What does Phantom X have up his sleeve? What, yeah, what, what, what is he gonna do? Because yeah. he's well, gonna die. Uh, Hell no. I guess Psylocke and Psylocke at the end became Lady Britain, right? Lady Britain. I guess so. She yeah. put the costume on, she so w- she'll she'll do something. Something she'll I have mean, something to do with Phantom X being all right. She not only is in like nine hundred. <laughs> uh, She's Wolverine. Groups. She's also in 900 different costumes. She needs her own ongoing book. Yeah. Marvel mm. Marvel needs Marvel needs a female ongoing. Can we replace X23 with Psylocke? Yeah, absolutely. Um, Psylocke would, or Lady no Britain doubt. just add, like her as Lady Britain would be awesome. That Have would you be pretty cool. That she's with more Jamie Braddock? called Lady something than like Lady Death, Lady Britain. Oh, well, she's a lady. Yes, I like and anyone. she's a lady from the upper echelon of English society, which yes. is they call yeah. them ladies. Yeah, so she is she is a Braddock after she all. She might as well I mean, she'd have to the only thing higher than that would be a dame. She'd have to get damed. A dame. Dame Judy Dench. And girls liked it when you called them Dame. <laughs> dame Judy Dench. Dame Judy Dench. <laughs> I named James Judy Dench. <laughs> James <laughs> 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 James. <laughs> I know. Oh man, uh, but yeah, Uncanny X Force, good. <laughs> um, just and also, if nothing else, there is a Captain Wales, and yeah, <laughs> and a Captain England. Captain all England you, is you, his is his shitty lawyer. Too. All you Torchwood, yeah. all you Torchwood fans can be excited that there's a Captain Wales. All you, yeah, Doctor Who ligands. Um, what's next? Uh, yeah. uh, Avenging Spider Man number three. Mm. Great end of an arc. I oh, mean, I loved it. I thought it was. I, real. I thought it was fun, and I love what he's doing. And uh, Zeb Wells, I like that you are writing a love letter to Spider Man. I don't yeah. think I don't think that he's overthinking it. I don't think that he's trying to fit it into any other continuity. I think he's just having fun. Wait, is Zeb Wells writing this and Carnage USA? Yes, mm-hmm. I forgot. But um, he, I think he's just having a blast writing Spider Man. It's it's good. Like his J Jonah Jameson is really yeah. Good. yeah. His J Jonah is really on. great. Who else? Maybe Deadpool, but who else would win a huge battle against by? Against uh, uh, an unsurmountable <laughs> opponent by, pulling by pants dropping down. his pants. Yeah. yeah. It was Come on. brilliant. Like he just swung yeah. that thing around and dropped his pants, and then they were like, Well, you shamed him in battle, <laughs> so that means him. you win. And he was like, Oh, all right, cool. <laughs> like it was, it was really it's yeah, it is it is good. JJJ writing a great Red Hulk. I'm not super um, excited about um Hawkeye. 
I'm yeah. not excited. I about am. Hawkeye. I, I love I think Hawkeye. They'll go back and forth really well. I don't think so. I think they'll have. Great I think banter. that Red. Hulk, I think Red Hulk and Spider Man's dynamic was better because Red Hulk was so super serious mm-hmm. all the time, and I just think of Clint as kind of being like, you know, poor well, man's Captain I, well, America. Well, I, I think you can't. So we've done three issues of Super Serious. Why do three more issues of Super Serious? Because you're like not give me some levity, like I guess. So we'll see when it comes out. Yeah. I mean, I'm, I'm still going to read it. All right, <laughs> um, Venom number twelve. Rick I Remender. love Dude, this. So good. Thomas says he was he he thought, I it, thought was it was okay. okay. I loved what? it. I thought oh, it was all right. Man. The I'll jack-o'-lantern stuff at the end, when he was like running away, he was like, oh, shit. <laughs> yeah. Say, when, 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 when Flash lost it, yeah. I oh. thought it got, it got really exciting, especially that. when he was just like ravaging What was that Las thing Vegas. that he was toxin? trying to get? That's Toxin. That's another symbiote. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. He did say Toxin, didn't he? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. And Venom don't has like that, it. Has Toxin like been worn by anyone? Is that something that we're... He's or is it, or is the, it just a in Carnage USA? They said he was out of commission. Yeah, the oh. the guy so who had been wearing is, the suit, yeah. I don't think is alive. So do that you, must be. Do you think this is something that might this will come up in the in the put into Carnage USA? No, this will no. come up in the event. It'll oh, it'll yeah event. yeah okay, it'll it'll cool. come up next month and it may or may not show up in Secret Avengers because it's all in yeah that's true because Venom of, will be in it that's true and they're going yeah. to Vegas in the point one mm-hmm. yeah okay so all yeah. Right. Um, I, I, but I really Jack O' Lantern. I'm gonna miss him until he comes back. I loved him so much. He was like my favorite villain in the Marvel universe he right now. He is a great villain. Um, <laughs> he is like if you leave my family alone, I'll leave yours alone, and then just like yeah. fly the, okay, flew away as fast well, as he could. Yeah, it's, and it's, then like hit that sign and fell to the ground. It was awesome. Yeah, I think I think it's it's the first time Jack O' really gotten to see what Venom can do. Yeah, he and he was really not scared. Flash. What <laughs> Venom can do? <laughs> he was really scared. And Venom's got the mouths coming out all over oh, him. Oh God. I mean, like, it was cool. It was not nearly as cool as some of the other stuff that's happened in that arc, but it's a great way to set up uh, next month. Mm-hmm. I like the art on, vi- on, on like, Venom when he's hooking up. Venom mm-hmm. and and I, I think it reminds me a lot of Spawn. Mm-hmm. A lot of, like... Well, that's why well, Spawn yeah, was created, because he wanted to do Venom and they wouldn't let him, right? Uh, well, sort of. I mean, it's it's the same guy. It's uh, Todd McFarlane designed yeah. both characters, yeah. and uh, Venom came first, and... You can kind of tell that he just wanted to use that same design that Spawn. Yeah. Where he just gave him green eyes. Exactly. Um, who, 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 did a who did the art on this? Is it still Tom Fowler? This is Medina. Uh. Yeah, it's changing for the uh, crossover. Um, but it's not a crossover, is it? Is it a crossover? It's not a crossover. It's, it's a series no, it's, of, it's of point ones, twos, threes, fours. Um, is the way they're going to do it. It's yeah. Venom is gonna. They're gonna. It's gonna be a new issue of Venom for every week in February. Dang. That they're all written by the people who've been writing the respective books uh, of those characters. That's cool. Yeah. So Reminder and uh, Tony Moore will be opening and closing the arc, mm-hmm. which is awesome that Tony Moore will be back because I love his artwork. But then, like the Ghost Rider stuff is going to be written by Rob Williams. Um, X twenty three is going to be written by whoever it was that was writing that. Like it's it's like there's like five writers, four we're, writers on the event. We're still dealing with girl. Ghost Rider, right? Right, yeah. it's her. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Johnny Blaze is not not. It's not Johnny Blaze. Is getting drunk in in, in the new movie? Yeah, <laughs> that movie looks great. <laughs> I was like, you you keep getting me when you say like <laughs> Daredevil is awesome. I'm like, <laughs> are we on the same podcast? Like, <laughs> did we see the same movie? I saw Daredevil uh, two: Rise of the Planet of the Apes. <laughs> 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 All right, uh, Thomas. Like Thomas uh, didn't read this. I, uh, Tyler's the only one who read it. No, Tyler's not the. Only oh yeah, that's right. You read Link it. Link read it just read now. It. What I'm saying though is, Thomas mandate when we finish this, yeah. you take this out of the bag and read it. How great uh, was it? Amazing Spider-Man number six seventy eight. Uh-huh. Really good, man. Oh, yeah. Like I, I just, I was completely caught off guard by it being so heady. Dan Slott so, is such yeah, a genius. Very very smart. Um, and the art's not that bad. Oh yeah, yeah. It's, it's Umberto Ramos, and you can tell, but it's not as bad. I think as he, Spider I think Island really likes Tiny the, Waste and Sausage Fingers. It just doesn't seem as rushed as Spider Island did. Um, I think he really likes the, the fat science guy, he, too. Yeah. Like, yeah. Um, and he loves cut off fingers. So it, it looks uh, like Flintstone's fingers. <laughs> I say it takes uh, it takes place a lot in Horizon, I guess. Uh, yeah. yeah, it's pretty much all in Horizon. Can I, can I take that to T Town? Yeah. Okay. But uh, can we? I mean, I don't want to spoil it for you, Thomas, but. Basically, the, I told you the story. Yeah, Basically, I mean, I, the story I kinda, okay. the story is the the guy from Her- the fat guy from Horizon Labs, who is apparently the worst scientist they have, 
um, invents a uh, a quantum door, and the door um, he puts the door in front of the break room, and so the break room is a day in the future. So he walks in the break room, pulls the pulls the yes, tomorrow's paper out, all that stuff. It's it's a neat little trick. Peter Parker walks through into a wasteland because New York has been destroyed because he because wasn't there. He was not there for the day that he lost when he stepped into the door. So now uh, the door stays that way, even though Peter comes back through. So he has to figure out what what he did the day before um, that prevented that future. And the only thing they have to go on is that newspaper. Is the newspaper that and and it says everything that Spidey did that yeah. day. Yeah, and it, like he broke a record for purse snatchers or something. like Yeah, he like broke that. Daredevil's record for eleven purse snatchers yeah. in one day. It's it is so um, good, and the whole it's like him, and he can't figure it out, and he's getting more and more frustrated because there's like a it happens. They fa- he finds a watch in the wasteland of New York City that's frozen, like a Hiroshima watch would be. Um, it's frozen on the time, the last time that it ticked, ten so, after three. which was 10 after 3. And so the book ends at 9 after 3, and he's trying to figure out what the hell's going on. It's, it's like 9 after 3 and like 45 seconds. Yeah, it is amazing. It's like, it's, it's, such a, it's such a my book. Like, it's such a story that I would love, and it's, it's brilliant. And I didn't even, like, I... But, but I, think, Thomas I think it was, works for... Oh, like it's so good. Like Thomas was in the store with me, and I was like, I'm going to pick up Amazing Spider-Man. He was like, really? <laughs> yeah, I was like, Ramos? And I was like, yeah, it looks, it's, looks pretty good. And everybody's No, I believe what you said was, I just want to read Spider-Man. Yeah. <laughs> I just love Dan Slott's like, Spider-Man. I just, I just want to read Spider-Man. Oh man, it's and it, I'm I'm so glad I picked it up and and can get past the the art that I'm I don't like. Well, speaking of not Dan Slott's Spider-Man, uh, <coughs> Ultimate Spider-Man, Ultimate Comic Spider-Man. Thomas, you still not reading this? Nope, I'm not oh, reading man. any Ultimate books. Uh, you suck. You babe. frustrate me. How how you frustrate me? Well, because if I read one, I have to read all of them. That one's true. That's very so true. Yeah. Well, I'm not reading the Ultimates, and I don't feel like I'm missing anything. This was good, but I will say this: I am. I did not like the art because is it different? Is it a different person? Uh, I don't, I don't know if it's different from what it's been. But ultimate right. art is always supposed to be. I've always seen it very crisp, very sharp lines. Yeah, and this is m- like it's like a painting. It's yeah, like it's a more photorealistic. It's, yeah, yeah. It's, um, that's true. Uh, what, so what happened? His uncle went to Mexico. Yeah. To and his uncle is called the what? The Prowler. The Prowler. Which is actually, sort of an an old. Like there, the He's Prowler the shows up. Best thief or something. The, the Prowler shows up in the Spider-Man cartoon. That's yeah. the only uh, other reference I have to him, and he's kind of like a a, a bad guy because he has to be. Yeah, um, he's like Black Cat. Yeah. Well, and he's got that shitty like electric electrostatic thing from the Tinkerer that only works like twice. Yeah, but and that's <laughs> a, that's the thing about the that's the thing about the the art. I wasn't really sure what it was. Yeah, no, it you just can't tell. All of a it just looks like he has powers electric, out of nowhere, but, he, yeah. but not really. Um, and then what? Uh, Miles, what happened with Miles? Um, well, Miles was talking to his mom. Yeah, his talk to his mom about his dad, and his dad used to be a criminal with his uncle. Yeah. With with Miles' uncle, with his with his dad's brother, and he's having to think in his head like that. There's a piece of that inside. Of yeah, him. like he's like got these I powers have and this, and now he's got like genetically predisposed, perhaps to be worried, a bad person, yeah. and he's worried that he'll use his powers the wrong way. That's not how that works. It's not. <laughs> but he's a small child. He doesn't know. And you, everybody, like you, always forget that Miles is like eleven or twelve years old. Yeah, and. I, the that's, fact that they're even young. calling him Spider Man, yeah, like he should be Spider Boy. Like he is super young for the stuff that's going on in his life. Yeah. Like, and Peter Parker was like, he was in high school, 15, right? 16. Yeah, was I like, think it was, was like sixteen like or seventeen. He was almost a college. I thought he was like fourteen or fifteen. I feel like he was only in high school for like a year or two after. But all those Marvel characters started off really young. Like Cyclops is like fifteen in the first class. Yeah, yeah. yeah but he wasn't eleven. Yeah, but still. And then the newspaper, like he gets, he, oh yeah, he fights some robbers. And he gets, and the police try to take him down. And the um, the da- the girl from the Daily Bugle takes a video. And so the next morning, the uncle wakes up in the prison in Mexico and sees the headline that he can't read because it's in Spanish. But it, it essentially says there's a new Spider-Man. And he knows, he knows who it is. Yeah. Because he robbed the Oscorp. At the beginning, so he's like, "Oh shit, that's where the spider went." So he knows who he knows that Miles is the new Spider-Man mm-hmm. now, and it, it look, it's 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 really good. I'm really enjoying it. One thing I really liked was, uh, you know, he saves the woman or whatever, and 
you know, the police are trying to get him because he's Spider Man, and that's what happens. Yeah. Basically. And the lady's the whole time going, "No, he was very helpful. Yeah. <laughs> like, please, <laughs> no. please put your guns away. Yeah. He was. This was a really nice young man, and he did something good. And they tried to pull his mask off, and he was like, "Nah, bro. And yeah. Beat the shit out of him. It was really. It was good. I enjoyed it. And he's the whole time he's going, "How am I doing? This? Yeah. Like he's flipping around. <laughs> it's good. Um. So we started with a whimper, and we will end with one. I think. <laughs> um. <laughs> Uh, sadly enough, it comes Aww. in the form of Supergirl, ah, number forgot. five. Um, it wasn't bad. It wasn't bad, but it wasn't what it it's been the last boring. four issues. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. I who didn't this think it was boring. <laughs> I think it's like, it was a necessary. No, it's a transition. No, 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 no. I, I just, I want to say this. So that was, that was uh, the first book I read after I, I got him from Kingdom. Oh, yeah. Like that was the first one I read. I was really, really excited about it because Supergirl's always so good. I always save the one, the ones I'm excited about well, for you last. Know, yeah, I wanted to save X Force for last. Oh God, I read that first and last. I read, you read it two read times. It, read your read your second best first. Your your the second most excited first, and then your most excited one last. I okay. read what's on top of the stack. <laughs> <laughs> but um, I read it in alphabetical order. But so, basically, it took no time to read. Like yeah. once it was over, I was like, oh, "That was it." And that was my reaction. I think that's why I was really disappointed was like I was really expecting there, like it says on the front, for there to be a battle, which was mostly just Supergirl getting her ass whooped. Showdown. She's a... Showdown. And then pinned up to a wall. She got shut down. She got shut down down (laughs) at the showdown. Yeah, no kidding. (laughs) It was it, It was boring. Nothing happened except that they were like, here's a little few pieces of dialogue to set up. What yeah, happened. here's yeah. why. Here's this why this is what's next happening. week. Yeah. yeah, um, I'm excited about the world killers and seeing the rest of them. Yeah. Um, but other than that, what was that door she went through? Did, did they explain uh, that? You know, not really. Okay. Um, I know she's pretty far away from a yellow sun too. I, she's. I mean, and that I think that'll factor in. But she's got batteries. You know, like I mean, that's what she is. She and Clark are both. There's the solar batteries. The yeah, the, yeah. The so- solar retention of Kryptonian skin cells. It's a Big Bang Theory quote. Somebody's gonna <laughs> write a paper on it. <laughs> um, I, yeah, it wasn't my favorite book this week, but it was it was needed. We needed yeah, to see her yeah, father yeah. explain what was going on, and who ki- who killed him. What yeah, happened? I was, I was kind of. Oh no! Oh no! Oh, no. Oh. Was it Jor El? What a twist! <laughs> Probably wasn't Jor El. Was it Zod? Well, I hope it was Zod. God, I hope it was Zod. It's gonna. I mean, like, I want nothing more than for Supergirl to whoop Zod. And Neil, oh, well, yeah. first Neil before Zod, son of Drill. <laughs> Neil before Zod. <laughs> Well, thanks for listening to Probably Comics on our weekly segment, What's in the Box? What's in the box? If you want to listen, <laughs> if you want to follow me on Twitter, you can follow me at Uncanny Tom. That's T H O M. And if you'd like to follow me, I'm on Twitter at DT Mills. Hey, follow me on Twitter at Link Z2. And if you want to follow the show on Twitter, you can follow us at Probably Comics or check us out at Facebook.com slash Probably Comics. Or check us out at uh, ProbablyComics.com. This podcast is unofficially brought to you by Kingdom Comics of the Stadium, Alabama. Stan, Albert, Jason, Roscoe, Clay, <laughs> Sandra, the crazy day more lady, <laughs> Jason Aaron's mom. Yeah, thanks, Jason Aaron's <laughs> mom. 